We took evidence from um, Avon and Somerset Police that said licensing of sex entertainment venues contributes to the sexual harassment of women. Do you agree? Well, I'm very grateful for your APPG's work on uh, commercial sex services and indeed we have a debate this afternoon in Westminster Hall on that, uh, secured by um, the Honourable Member for Rotherham. Uh, we have, as, as you know, we have um, commissioned research into what prostitution looks like in the 21st century. Uh, and whilst that, I'm not for a moment saying that licensed venues are the same thing as prostitution, we do know, anecdotally of course, that uh, those premises must be licensed and regulated very, very carefully um, because of the risk there is for um, women to be exploited in those venues. Well, not just women actually, but sex workers to be exploited in those venues. So um, it is, it's, it's something I'm very conscious of. This is now another parallel, although in the linking that you raised, I didn't mention prostitution yeah. at this stage. No, 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 I mean, yeah. Um, in that both are actually driven by an ability for men with money to gain access to either viewing or interacting with women's bodies. And the point I was making at the start was, do you not think that has a wider normalising effect on society in general, even when prostitution or lap dancing are, are present? I, I think it's a, a very uh, valid observation. And I, I would just, of course, men can also be prostitutes and sex workers. As of course, well. yeah. Um, and similarly, there can be vulnerabilities there. Yeah, we, we just accept that yeah. it's a highly yeah. gendered yeah. Yeah. phenomenon, okay. even though there are, there are issues around the edge.